The Motor City taking a giant step toward exiting bankruptcy. And now the governor is praising Detroit retirees. Today, Governor Rick Snyder spoke openly about a major vote affecting thousands. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live outside federal court. Simon. Glenda, you know, the governor was quite candid today. He talked about this retiree vote being a major victory, and it also helps keep the emergency manager from staying in Detroit for too long. I really appreciate the retirees taking that positive vote because it was hard. They're making sacrifices, and I really admire them and respect them for doing that. Governor Rick Snyder beaming with satisfaction now that Detroit has taken a giant leap forward in the city's bankruptcy. Action News was out front yesterday as votes were tabulated, showing an overwhelming approval of the bankruptcy plan of adjustment by retiree unions. My goal with an emergency manager is have them come in, do their job, and get out. If that's true, the numbers are a big victory. 82% of police and fire retirees said yes. 73% of the general retirement system said yes. And 88% of the retiree health care system. There are still challenges, and there are still going to be a lot of arguments and litigation and things going on. But the retirees approving this is a huge step forward and a very positive step. The votes are in support of the $816 million grand bargain, softening pension cuts and saving DIA art from sale. Creditors who the city also owes money to have voted no and stand to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. They could even go bankrupt. Bankruptcy trial is set to start August 14th. And certainly a lot of work still remains. The city still has to reach a tentative agreement with a union representing active Detroit firefighters. Live downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Thanks so much, Simon. And you can count on 7 Action News on air and online on any new developments in the Detroit bankruptcy.